All right, so this is a little tutorial on how to weld up a rear differential so that you can do mad skids or whatever the hell you want to do with your car. Um, this is a, a rear differential out of a Subaru Impreza, Forester, Legacy, whatever you want to call it. It's an R160. Um, I think this one came out of a this one came out of a sedan, like a 99 sedan or something like that. It should be like a 390 ratio, something like that. Um, the one that's currently in the car blew up, so I'm welding this one up to replace it. Um, so the way that I do it is you've got these spider gears here that made up with these spider gears. And you can see as it rotates the one way. Sorry, this is a little this is pretty sketchy. So if you move this one way, the opposite gear, this one over here, rotates the other way. And that's, that's how your wheels turn at different speeds. Because when this big one turns, if one wheel is, is if you're turning a corner, one wheel spinning slower than another, these gears allow that to happen. So what I do is I weld up this gear to this shaft, to this gear, then this gear to the cage, and this, this is the big, like this is the, the, this is the ring gear carrier actually. And then this is one of the side gears, spider gears, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I, I weld the whole thing into just a giant ball of weld basically. So it's this gear to the cage, this gear to this gear, this, this gear to this cage, blah, blah, blah. Just weld everything around. And then you rotate the, um, the pinion gear and roll this over 180 degrees so you can get to the other big access hole you have right here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I've got to clean everything. I've got to clean all the oil out of here. This thing's been sitting in my garage for the better part of a year and a half or so. And it's full of shit. So I know this is stupid, but who can honestly resist playing with fire, right? So, if I burn my garage down, here's proof that I was dumb about it. So I went ahead and welded up the diff yesterday, and you can see how I told you everything was going to be a big ball of weld. Well, it is. That spider gear no longer looks like a gear, it just looks like a puddle of weld. Everything's welded to the case there as well. That gear it more resembles a gear, but it's welded to the case as well. That gear to that side of the case, also to the shaft, which is welded to that side of the gear. That one barely goes to the case, but I'm not worried about it. I know this thing will, will long outlast the pinion gear. So now, I can do this one-handed. Instead of those gears working independently, when the pinion is rotated, whoa, it tries to tip over. No, the whole assembly turns now. Instead of working like a differential, it just acts like a solid spool and will turn both, both axle shafts at the same speed every time. Okay, so we just popped the cover off and first thing you see is loose bolts. So I don't know, well that was a weird noise from your stomach. So obviously it's not the pinion because that's still turning the ring gear. It's just spinning that. So I don't know how those bolts all came loose. <laughs> but Oh, there's a broken bolt. Yeah. Two. But how does that happen? Gears are all still intact. No weird noises. Welds all still held. So that's good. It's just somehow. Yeah, that's. There's not nearly enough gears or bolts there. <laughs> Squish. Nah, fuck it. I don't care. <laughs> 